everyone. Welcome back to Stan's Garage, bringing you everything you need to know for effective business IT management. Today, we're talking about Microsoft Teams. Teams, my humble opinion, is probably the best way for modern workplaces to collaborate and communicate. Within one chat window, you can safely and effectively share files, schedule meetings, and take video calls. Add-ons, you can even make plain old phone calls too. And because of its tight integration with Microsoft 365, for plenty of you, it doesn't even cost an extra dime, and there's no longer a need to switch between other apps like Zoom and Slack or WebEx, any other communications platforms. Simply put, Teams makes the online meeting experience that much better and tightly integrated with tools you're already using. There are plenty of ways to successfully set up and manage your business using Teams. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over some of the best practices for using Teams effectively in your business. Segmenting your business to scheduling recurring meetings, we're gonna cover it all. So let's start with organizing with groups. When we're able to seamlessly work together, work is that much more collaborative, right? It's as simple as that. So as I'm sure many of you already know, group chats are a way to effectively communicate with different members of your team, regardless of where they might be located in this dispersed work from home, new reality that we find ourselves in. Teams excels at being able to group people by job or project. Create a group just for your marketing team so they can manage content and communicate with each other. You might even create a group that includes your entire team. Groups like these are an effective way of making company-wide announcements. Second, you can pin important groups and chats, right? In your team's window, if you have a chat that you wanna to keep top of mind, you can pin any of them and they'll be at the top of the list. It's always easy to stay updated what's going on. Pinning is a great way to differentiate the chats you interact with on a regular basis from those ones that just kind of pop up here and there. Never let your chats get lost in the crowd again. You can get the most out of the chat box by using the at mention feature, right? You do a lot with Teams chat to maintain an effective and efficient workplace, right? So for example, did you know that you can call a colleague's attention by at mentioning them in Teams? Like if you wanted to hit up me, you just type in at, and you typically you just type a couple letters of my name and I'll auto-populate if we're on the same Teams group. And then boom, you can alert me that something in that chat is very relevant to what I'm uh, doing on this particular project or, or just this thread, right? So you can mention multiple people as well. It doesn't have to just be limited to one and grab all their attention. Just make sure that you're waiting. They'll know that you're waiting on them for a response. Uh, let's talk about formatting some. Teams offers a lot of freedom when it comes to formatting messages, right? There's built-in formatting tools, bold, italicized, add emojis, icons, animated GIFs even. Um, anything that you want to emphasize what it is you're saying. You'll find the formatting button uh, right under the composition box. There you can, you know, create your headings, colors, highlight, even insert tables if you want. And so the last thing I want to mention is a feature that I often see overlooked as people are probably in the Microsoft 365 space more commonly scheduling meetings in Outlook or Outlook on the web but uh, you could do it right from within Teams and you can connect to your Teams meeting right from that same calendar. Uh, so if you're meeting with the same person or group on a regular basis, that's a perfect opportunity to create one of those recurring meetings. And when you create one of those new meetings, you can uh, set the meeting to recur at whatever schedule you feel necessarily, monthly, weekly, annually, whatever it might be. One thing to note about those recurring meetings is that regardless of how many times they take place, they will always use the same meeting chat. That means you, you can go back and have the ability to uh, cycle through your meeting notes and chat messages if you need them. So overall, Teams has been great. We used to use Slack, but we're on Microsoft 365. It was just so well integrated and makes collaboration that much easier. It counts people already signed into. So I hope these best practices give you some insight on how you might use Teams more efficiently. But if you've got some Teams hacks, tips, tricks, or questions, you know, uh, if you're not using Teams or if you'd like to use Teams, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Uh, if you're interested in help in setting up your Microsoft ecosystem or getting over to Teams and 
you're not quite sure how to do it, mention something in the comments, or feel free to book a time with me via the Calendly link listed below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.